Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be yet another full day of eating. Um, today, I am just gonna try and have a great day. Um, my husband left this morning, so I feel like I'm gonna struggle a little bit, but I got up. Um, I'm gonna do my Chloe Ting workout. I think I'm on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So I'm on day six today. Yesterday was a rest day. Um, it's been pretty good overall. Um, it is a really good workout and I've had to accommodate some of the workouts because I'm not able to do them. Um, but the most important thing is that I'm trying and I'm still, you know, either doing like the lower impact version or something along the lines of what she's doing. Um, I've, I feel really good and it's, like I said, it's a really good workout. They're pretty fast. Um, the days range from like half an hour to 45 to 50 minutes. Apparently day seven is really hard. My cousin's doing it as well. So I'll see how day seven goes. Um, the last couple days haven't been really good. Um, I now have no weeklies and I think, I don't think I have any fit points left, but that's okay. I had really good days up until then. Um, I wouldn't say like horrible days. My husband was, you know, home, like I said, and sometimes I'm more prone to eating a little bit more when he's home. And last night was his last night home. So we did like a, another date night. So I actually ordered like a Buddha bowl, which is healthier than what I could have had. Um, and then I had a couple of his fries and we had some deep fried pickles. But anyways, today I am just gonna eat on plan. So I had breakfast here. Um, it looks delicious. This has been one of my go-to breakfasts. This has been one of my go-to breakfasts um, for a while. I have the Morning Star spicy black bean um, burger for three points. I have two um, eggs here for four points. And then in there I have some cheese for one point. You guys saw this, I was making it, but anyways. And then zero points for strawberries. So this is an eight point breakfast. Well, I should say brunch because let's get real. I, you know, laid in bed a little bit. So I'm gonna have like maybe a later lunch or just like a smaller snack. So I can't wait to have that. And then of course I'm going to add my no sugar added ketchup. Um, guys, I'm a huge ketchup fan and I used to only um, have Heinz ketchup. Um, and they also have a no sugar added ketchup as well. But this blue menu from Superstore here in Canada, I love it, it's so good. It's not very, ketchup can be kind of vinegary sometimes but this one has just like a really light taste and I really enjoy this um so yeah I did also have a built boost before I cooked my um brunch um so that's kicking in right now so I'm hoping that's gonna make my workout even better but anyways I'm going to eat this and we'll see you guys when I'm all done all right guys so I'm prepping dinner right now so I figured I would come on and show you what I'm doing I do have a cook with me on this and I will link it down below um, in the cook with me I used diced tomatoes but I actually have salsa on hand today so I'm gonna use that um, so I figured I'd just show you guys because I'm filming today um, it did turn out good with the tomatoes but I usually do the recipe um, with salsa if I have it on hand. So anyways, I'm gonna add two cups of salsa. If I have enough, my husband like loves this stuff. Well, usually it's two cups, what a fail. <laughs> Actually, you know what, it's pretty close. There we go. And then we're gonna add one cup of cheese sauce, guys. This gives it so much flavor. Um, if you haven't added this to your shredded chicken, do it because it's amazing. All right, so one cup of cheese sauce. Last thing I'm adding is the reduced sodium taco seasoning mix. I do this all the time. I should have added everything but the chicken in so I could stir it better, but that's okay. And I don't think I mentioned this in the beginning. There's 30 ounces of chicken in there. So we're gonna add this. And then I'm gonna try and stir it without making a huge mess. Like I said, I should have added everything but the chicken, but that's okay. I'm actually gonna add in a little bit of chicken broth. Um, when I use the diced tomatoes, there's a little bit of juice from the tomatoes, but with the salsa, there's not much. So I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit. When I did that cook with me, I thought I had salsa on hand. Um, I, like I said, it tastes good with the um, diced tomatoes, but honestly, the salsa gives it so much more flavor. Um, so I'm happy that I had salsa on hand today. So I'm gonna cook this on low for five to six hours. 
Um, depending on your crock pot, it might differ. I like to keep an eye on it. And also if your chicken breasts are thin or thick, it depends on that as well. Um, I will check on it and then I'll shred it and then let it sit for another half an hour. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I'm also prepping some chicken and I just wanted to show you guys what I've been using for my marinade. Um, I love using salad dressing, like especially just like oil based. Um, salad dressing for marinade honestly like it gives it so much flavor and um, it's like little to no points like a tablespoon of this is one point and it's hard with marinade because you're literally just marinating in it and it's not like you're having like the whole thing as a sauce so I mean you can count a point if you want um, so yeah anyways that's what I'm doing right now I need to find my measuring cup I'm gonna take half a cup of this basil, basil, basil parmesan um, salad dressing. I get this from Superstore. I'm actually gonna shake it up quickly. I'm gonna do half a cup of that. I'm gonna see where this takes me. I might add a little bit more just because I, I like a lot in my marinade. This was not a smart move, guys. I have like this Ziploc bag. This is gonna be difficult. Usually I put the chicken in first. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, we got you. So, I'm actually gonna add another half a cup. Cause I'm probably gonna do like three or four. And then we have like a smoker outside and um, we don't really use it, use it as a smoker. Um, we actually use it as like a barbecue. It works like that. And it actually still burns through like the wood pellets and it just gives the chicken a really nice like char grill and just a really nice flavor. So I have one cup in there. I'm gonna add my chicken. Probably just gonna do two because it's just me. Get that gross stuff off of there. Gross. I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll be back to show you what I do with the rest. Okay, and then the next thing that I use is this Stubbs um, barbecue seasoning rub. Um, I found this at the dollar store and with this, oh, it's so good guys. I don't even know how much I'm gonna add. I'm just gonna add it. You can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'm just gonna shake it in there. It's a little bit more. Can never have too much seasoning. So there it is. I'm gonna zip this up. I'm probably gonna um, make this tomorrow night. Let it sit overnight. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. Just try to get the air out of it here without spilling everything. I probably could have done just half a cup, but that's okay. Okay, that's as much as, all right. And I'm just going to mix it all together. So there you go, that's all marinated. Um, I'm OCD like this, but I like to put it on a plate just in case it leaks, cause I don't know, that's the way I am. Um, so I'm gonna set this in the, I'm gonna say, I was gonna say, I'm gonna set this in the chicken. Um, I'm gonna set this in the fridge. Like I said, it's going to marinate overnight and then I'm gonna make it tomorrow. After I'm done cleaning up um, from all of this, I'm gonna make a snack and then I'm gonna head outside. So we'll see you guys then. You can hear me. Um, it was way nicer out here like an hour ago and now it's like windy and it's overcast. So I'm hoping that I can get a little bit of sun in. Um, I just like to sit outside. It, it makes me feel better. Anyways, I'm sitting down for snack or a late lunch or whatever. Um, I have my two everything rice cakes. There's a bee. Sorry. I'm terrified of bees. <laughs> um, I have my two everything rice cakes for three points. And then I have my holy guacamole. I only used half of it, so I'm going to count two points. Um, I'm actually using the spicy kind today, and I actually really like it. Um, and then I have zero points worth of tomatoes, and then I'm using my Epicure everything but the bagel seasoning just for a little bit of extra taste. So that's five points. That will put me at 13 points for the day. I'm just going to sit out here and edit for a bit. I need some like fresh air and it's only day one of 
14 that my husband's gone so I'm trying to like keep myself occupied but anyways I'm going to eat this edit some videos and we'll see you guys back for dinner time so here is dinner I know I made this in my last what eat in a day um, but I love this combination I have four points worth of tater tots and then I have one point for my shredded taco chicken and then one point for the Mexican corn melody if you guys are on the purple or blue plan I would still probably count points for it because there's added stuff other than corn and then we got sour cream for one point and chives for zero points so this is a seven point dinner all right guys i am back for snack time i'm only sitting at 20 points and as you all know if you've been watching me for a while i like to save my points for my nighttime snack so you guys can probably guess what i'm having yep i'm having my popcorn um i'm having the smart pop popcorn i think it's by orville redenbacher i can't remember that's probably wrong Anyways, um, seven points for the bag. I put my spray olive oil on there. I think I overdid it a little bit today, but that's okay. And then my popcorn seasoning and all dress, that's been my favorite lately. And then I'm gonna have the Smart Sweets in the Sour Blast Buddies. Um, three points for the whole bag. I'm gonna have some more water. I'm probably gonna fill that up a couple more times. Um, and I'm gonna come back on here because I've been staying up late lately, so I think I'm gonna have a fruit cup. So anyways, I'm not gonna end the video here. I'm going to eat my snack and we'll see you guys back later.